Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. Coming at you with some fitness content, some motivation. Yeah, the shoulders. This is going to be about the shoulders and about diet. I'm going to show the first half of my shoulder routine, which is going to be some shoulder presses. This is just the warm up. Warm it all up, you know, get your elbows warm, your wrists, your shoulder joints. That is my shoulder. That's what we're trying to improve, you know, we're trying to add some muscle definition, some mass to the shoulders, right? I'm also going to talk about nutrition and diet, as well as uh, how uh, fat loss has been the cure for like five or six uh, horrible conditions that I used to have and that I no longer have. Yeah, throw some punches, do some some kung fu, some boxing, some Muay Thai, whatever you, whatever you got, bring it up. All right, warm up the the front delts, all right, the, uh, all the delts, rear delts, side delts, right? We're going to have some, we're going to invent some new delts. We're going to be so buff now, just kidding, all right? But, yeah, oh, for those who don't know, I used to be really fat, and you can see some of my other videos on my fitness playlist explain that and kind of document that. All right, YouTube, here we go with some shoulder presses. Now, prior to losing 80 pounds, I used to suffer from uh, pre-diabetes, insulin resistance, liver stones, a psoriasis of the skin, psoriatic arthritis, sciatica, and probably three or four other conditions that I don't remember at the, t at the current time because there's so many health conditions you suffer when you are obese. Those have all been cured, by the way. So regarding shoulder presses, you know, what you want to do is do a lot of variations with different hand positions where you're holding uh, the dumbbells at slightly different angles or different uh, orientation or twist of your wrist. And you do a lot of variations and that's to hit the muscles from all angles. You know, uh, when I was obese, I was still lifting weights, so I was fat, but I was also strong. But I used to think, oh, I just, I just can't see my shoulder muscles. Maybe that's just a genetic thing. Uh, no, it's not, dude. It just turns out I was fat as fuck, so I couldn't see the shoulder muscles because there was muscles, but they were all covered up by a layer of fat. Right? It's funny when. When you know you're doing something wrong, you think of all these elaborate things. Oh, those other guys, you know, those buff guys, they just have good genetics or they just, maybe they're on supplements or something. No, 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 no. As soon as I stopped bullshitting myself, you know, I got my nutrition on point and I knocked that fat off and surprise, surprise, it's a miracle. I can see the the freaking uh, shoulder muscles now and the, the um, you know, delineation between the different muscles of the shoulder right? So I had to get real. You know, I had to just stop bullshitting myself. Okay, that was the shoulder presses. Now we got some pull-ups. Like, pull-ups are the second part of my shoulder routine. You know, you got the pushing and then you got the pulling, right? Those are neutral grip pull-ups. These clips were filmed on a different day. As you see, my hair is a little bit longer, but uh, it's a standardized routine, right? So these are pull-up variations that I do on every shoulder day. Just a few uh, variations of pull-ups, but I got to congratulate uh, at least two of my subscribers. I did a review of this exercise station here, the Power Tower. I did a video review, and I've heard back from people who purchased it and are now using it, and they're getting buffer uh, as we speak, right? So congratulations on those subscribers that uh, got this same pull-up station I use and are taking charge of their fitness let me tell you, you know who's really happy? Those guys' wives and those guys' girlfriends because they're getting toned and buff. They're getting the more testosterone, you know. So basically, those guys' girls are real happy that they got real real men, you know. All right, here's just some leg lifts. Now, uh, any exercise where you're holding yourself up like that, like a gymnast, is going to tap those shoulders a bit. And that's also just a, an ab exercise. All right, that's a fun one you can do on this power tower too. Try try that one out, you guys. You just got one, right? So, we are pumped now. The you know the real workout took a long time, but that's the highlight reel. You you get the idea there. 
All right, so right here, I'm just gonna hold this weight because holding that weight forces my shoulder muscles to flex and my goal, you know, I wanna show you what we're aiming for here, what we're trying to do. We wanna be able to see, right? The, uh, some definition in the shoulder, we wanna be able to see. Uh, you can see that the, the separation, right? The delineation of the shoulder muscles, that's what you want, right? And of course, you know, we always want to increase that. All right, here's my other shoulder. And again, just showing you kind of the goal, right? The goal, you want defined shoulders, but you're not gonna get that without nutrition. All right, cut out the fast food, get some vegetables. They give you energy. They break down very slowly, so they are unlikely to add to your fat, but they give you sustained energy over time, right? And they uh, they also fill you up, right? And they certainly keep, uh, keep your elimination regular and on time. All right, another meal that day was just some pork ribs. It's just protein with a bit of fat, so... You know, your nutrition should be low-calorie, high-fiber vegetables and sufficient protein with a little bit of fat, right, or moderate amount of fat. The best protein is probably grass-fed beef or, you know, salmon, sardines are good, but this day I just happen to have the pork ribs. And the fat, you know, some fat is necessary, okay? It's specifically to, uh, well, to make the right hormones for one thing. All right, here's another meal. Now, this was on a different day, but it is representative of a typical meal that's basically all protein and fat, right? Keep in mind, I do eat the vegetables as my first meal of the day. Uh, now, if you wanted to, like, eat some of the vegetables with your protein and fat and mix it up more, you know, go ahead. But th this is a hanger steak from the farmer's market, so it's got some beef and some eggs and some cheese, right? Now, this is the kind of meal you might eat to, like, bulk up if you were lifting heavy weights. Uh, this is not something that you would eat if you have a lot of excess fat. Like, if you're, like, 50 pounds overweight, you know, you don't want to eat. Th this is more for when you've already lost the weight and maybe you're lifting weights, all right? So if you want to know what to eat to actually lose fat, well, I don't know if you really want to know because it, it's going to be a lot less than this, but I will make that video eventually. But I don't think people will like it because uh, if they were going to cut their calories, they would have already done so, I think. If you do have questions about how hormones like insulin affect your weight loss and can be the obstacle to weight loss, make sure you check out the obesity code. I'll include a link i bought mine on amazon i'll include that link in the text description box and that same doctor who wrote that has also written books on how to reverse your type 2 diabetes and uh, a guide to fasting so i'll include those books as well that doctor is world famous uh and uh yeah he he has a youtube he's very smart so check out the text description box for knowledge like that as well as the exercise equipment and a lot of stuff uh, just to help you out any way I can on your fitness journey. Yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. How are your programs going? Good, I hope. You know, I think deep down most people have a general idea of how to improve their health. So it's not a question of knowledge. It's a question of them just not doing what they know they should, right? Because when you eat like... Uh, uh, fast food and things like that in excessive quantities. It's not like you think that's healthy, right? You pretty much know what's what's bad for you and what's not. So people will ask, what should I eat? What should I do? You already generally know. Like, yeah, you could fine tune things a little bit, but you already know in general and you're, you're not even doing the basic stuff, but you're asking for like advanced stuff. Uh, that, that's just a form of deflection. It's, it's a way to put off what you know you got to do for one day longer. A junkie will do anything to just get high that one more time, right? So even the people asking what to do, it's like, have you done all the stuff you know would be good before asking for more? Think about it. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. Check out my fitness playlist. I'm out.